Hi everyone. Um, I was just checking through my uh, YouTube page today and it just looked a little bit sad. Uh, I've not been putting many videos on recently and I watched a bit of my video when I actually planted this area up, which was three years ago. Obviously, time's flown by since then. Um, and I just thought maybe I should do a video just to do like a garden update. I usually do one before spring or in early spring, which I have not, I didn't get round to this year. I've been so busy doing jobs and work's been very busy as well. And um, so I thought I'd do one now. We're just coming into had summer. some strange weather as well. Um, it's been quite wet, but it's been like a tropical wet, like um, sun in the morning, a bit of rain and then sun later on in the afternoon or sun later in the evening, uh, sorry, rain in the evening and sun all day. So it's been quite nice recently and we definitely needed the water. Uh, the only thing is it means the weeds go like crazy, but I'm not going to complain about getting the rain. So that was nice. Uh, we've got a little bit more rain forecast next week as well. So we'll see if that actually comes true. Um, I'm just going to do a little walk around in the garden, show a few things what I've done, take a look at the difference again in this section behind me, which is what I planted three years ago. And um, yeah, just see a few projects that I've got in mind as well and see what you think. If any suggestions on, on my ideas will be appreciated because there's still a few things that I'm sort of torn on that are up in the air at the moment. So anyway, I'll flip you around and uh, we'll just have a quick look around the garden. So if people can rem remember my video from three years ago, or if you've had a little look, um, this was very bare. Um, obviously most of the things were put in small anyway, so it's going to take a while for them to grow to, to look a decent size. We do have some bits in, some bigger trees to give some shade as well, but everything seems to be growing nicely. I have lost a few things, a few palms that really couldn't handle the full sun from from an early age but all in all not too bad really and um, at the moment with all the rain that we've had everything's growing fast i've put a few shade cloths in because again the, the sun here is very strong so and it is a little bit dry as we're just half an hour inland so we don't get the humidity like on the coast this uh, cavada I was put in when I first planted and it's grown slow, but it's literally just been acclimatized into the sun. Again, these sort of more tropical palms in my climate really want a bit more shade <clears throat> and will always look a lot better. But it's not doing bad. It's just starting to come through, come through now. And again, now it's more established, it will hold it. More, le more greener leaves and uh, start to grow a bit quicker as well. The only good thing is once they're acclimatized to the sun, the more sun they get, the faster they will grow. And I've got quite a nice selection of plants in here. I'm not going to go through and name them all, but if anyone wants to know what anything is in particular, just let me know. We've got a dip, small Dipsis barani black stem there. Uh, Otanta Phoenix Moliensis. I've got a few Savul. I'm not a massive fan of Savul, um, but uh, I've got a few Yappers, which are quite nice. I've just planted some Maritiformis as well, which is my favourite Savul by far. And as you can see, the garden's definitely not clean and um, the weeds are going crazy at the moment. So I'll probably tackle a bit of that this weekend. Tinges are all in fucking flower. My tetrapanics is done really well. It was putting out a lot of suckers which I tried to dig up and um, killed all but one of them. So I've planted one next to the pool area. Yeah, it's got a decent size on it now. Plum areas are just starting to come out flowers put some lights in the grass area as well which is really nice at night time and the Delanox regias are really taken off I was hoping to have flowers by now I had a few last year not many I was hoping to get some this spring but maybe we'll get them a little bit later on the paving's coming on it's a big task I'm really sick of it to be honest by now but uh, 
not much left to go, so I'm just sort of raring to get, get it finished. But it just ties everything in really nicely. And then the last job will be just fixing the bit around the pool area, the bottom of the pool once all the slabbing's done. It is starting to look like a, it's starting to fill up all the, the garden areas. And the pagoda's finished. One of my plans here is a table and what I've been thinking is to do like a polished concrete. So make a frame out of wood, make the legs come straight down either side. So it's like a, what you see in the kitchen sometimes with the marble where it comes down. And um, do it round the centre pillar so it looks like, so you sort of, that centre pillar is not in the way so much. So it will come out from there that way to maybe there same that way and you could sit three on either side so six twelve in total that's sort of what i'm thinking at the moment so to get a frame made in wood and then and then build a concrete table but i'm sort of torn between doing it like a dark gray or or a white and um, so if you do think if you've got any thoughts on that please let me know but all the crawling plant plants are growing up nicely so in a year or two, this should all be going across the roof and hopefully have some nice flowers hanging down. The pool's getting plenty of views, which is nice. Kids love it. And I'm... Um, setting myself a challenge from next week as well to get up and swim every morning before work so we'll see if that happens fire pits are a mess at the moment weeds everywhere and all the trees have been flowering so there's lots of flowers everywhere but it's really looking nice and established i've put a few new plants in just in the place of ones that died and i'm thinking of trimming the albithia tree down and maybe in a year or so, one project that's sort of pushed to the back, I might put a wooden pagoda over, again, to give us some shade in there. Because at the moment, we use it only in winter because in the summer it's quite warm and obviously at night we're not having fires in the summer. So if it had some shade, we could use it more in the summer too. Um, Avery's all good. We've had lots of babies. We started this year with two birds. We've now got... Um, I think about 12 or 13 because there's four chicks in the, in the box as well at the moment. In this area we've actually took the hammock out. So it's not really anything at the moment, just an area with some nice plants. I planted a new carpoxylon which is at the moment, I give it some shade. It's doing, it's growing actually really well and it's not really took any shock so fingers crossed I can keep that alive some heliconia as well that seem to be doing well and they were planted two years ago so they're coming back every spring a few other bits in here again towards the end of summer I'll try and do an update as well where more of the plants are a bit more established and flowering at the moment I just wanted to do a garden video in general done quite a bit of planting around the pool got some exoras in there put some more flowers in some more palms plumeria outside kitchen still as it was about four years ago so nothing changed there but hopefully that will be sort of one of my after summer jobs when all the tiling's done. So now I've just got tiling to do down that strip and then all the way back to, to where we are now. But this area is looking really nice. I'm actually just doing some work on this area at the moment. Dips Pembanas doing really well. Maybe have some flowers soon on that one. One of my projects, side projects that I'm doing at the moment is I'm having a frame made for this corner here. 
to go in here which is going to have a hanging double chair on that hovers over the water so a lot of people didn't really understand what my stepping stones were for well obviously that's one reason to have in there the hanging chair when we have all flowers coming over plumeria growing in this area sort of really tropical and enclosed later when everything's a bit more mature to have that hanging chair in there I think will be really nice over the water next to the water fountain and so you can get to that you can get to the both sides of the house and also in the future I would like to have a guest house that connects here with the big sliding doors from the bedroom that look out to the pool and literally this will be the way that you have to get in and out so you will have to go from the from the pool area nothing much going on at the front actually to be honest all my sort of energy has been going to the back I have again where I've lost plants I have replaced them with other things and got some nice palms in small again but things that hopefully will grow and uh, be, become established but yeah I'm really pleased with everything in general to say really the garden was started four and a half years ago and there was nothing here um, it's all doing pretty well in general. I'm just going to show you one more thing which I'm doing at the moment Which is the watering system So last year we got um, Managed to get connected to agricultural water, which is great for the garden It's a lot healthier for the plants and it's also a lot cheaper, which is a very nice bonus and that means basically that um, we get water at the moment four days a week from the agricultural system and they will give us a time at the moment it's four till nine four days a week i will probably at the moment i'm running it twice a week my irrigation system and maybe in august there might be some times where i'll run it three times a week and what it means is this system that i can fill this tank with water and then add soluble fertilizer and then from there, I've got to install a Venturi kit around the corner, which will connect to the main mains in from the agricultural water. And from there, that feeds all the time it's throughout the whole garden. So my time has come on automatically on the days that we have the water from four to nine, we'll run the whole system. So as long as this is full and the tap's turned on, it will suck the fertilizer out and all the plants will get their own fertilizing. So that just saves me such a big job in the three or four times a year that I've had to either go round all the plants, pouring a bit of fertiliser in, then watering it in. Or other times where I've had a smaller, I've got on my pump, I've got a smaller Venturi kit, but it's not in a great place. And it just means that I had a small container, which maybe did one and a half sections of the garden, and then I'd have to refill it. Now, I think at the moment I have 16 sections of uh, irrigation, so this will do the whole garden, no problem, and maybe a couple of times, but it means that I can do this not so concentrated and maybe run it once a month or once every six weeks, just obviously monitoring it and seeing how the garden reacts to it. I'll start off um, slowly with a less concentrated mix and just go from there so I'm really excited to get that up and running and just see the benefits that it has over summer um, I think that's all my projects that I've got going at the moment and um, like I said earlier I will do a after summer video when everything's sort of grown and at it's sort of peak if you like at the moment the plants are just are just recovering well, not recovering, they're actually doing well now, but they're just sort of kicking off from, from the cold winter that we had, which was pretty cold this year. Um, I will probably do a video sometime on my palms because I have quite a nice little collection of palms now and everything seems to have taken and be growing, which is, uh, which is a big relief because last, well, over the last few years, I have lost a lot of palms, obviously trial and error. 
um, learning the climate, where to plant things, the needs of different palms. When you first start, there's a lot of information to take in and some things you don't listen to or you have your own ideas and you learn as you go, which is normal in everything, I think. Definitely helps now. Um, shade is a big help. So I have now a bit more shade, some other areas where I can plant maybe some more sensitive things. Um, yeah, of course, those things help. So uh, I would like to do some more videos over the summer. Definitely if I decide to do the um, concrete table under the pergola, and also, hopefully in the next few weeks, I can get that um, frame in for the hanging chair over the pool. Um, but again, I think that's about it for now. Um, as you can see, I am pretty busy with definitely the slabbing. But hopefully it won't be too much longer. And I'll be able to get a few more videos in. And I'm always putting photos on Instagram as well. So if you have Instagram, I've got the same username on there. But yes, thank you for watching my videos and hopefully it won't be so long till the next one. Bye bye.